to me Lala. No one calls me Lala. Some people call me Lala. That's not the point. I'm unpacking this bag that I very haphazardly packed because my landlord was close by and I did not want to run into her. So I put everything in really quickly. And we already have one casualty. Um, I made this bathtub in porcelain and the leg came off. I still have the leg, but also I made this over a year ago. I don't think I'm gonna save it. I think I'm gonna let it go. And also it had a faucet and that just clean broke off, which is no surprise because this was very fragile, but let's see what survived and what didn't survive, okay? If this broke, I'm gonna be really upset. Woo, baby, she's alive. Um, How freaking cool is this? Yeah, I said it. There was a stool that went here that broke, but that broke a while ago. I can remake that. Um, like, who gave you permission? You know what I mean? Like, who gave you permission to be so darn cute? I made this a while ago. I was signing all of my pieces La Rinha, which means little Lara in um, Portuguese, and it's kind of like Luciano's nickname for me, but it also reminds me of like my inner child and I feel like with clay that really speaks to my inner child so I was signing all my pieces La Rinha or um for my American friends La Rinha that's literally how it's spelled I think I, I don't know if I want to color it I, I think it looks kind of cool white but I might color because I put like two artworks in there um or I might not, in case you're wondering what time it is on the oven. I think it's 10, 10, 20. But Survivor. Uh, this big bad boy survived. Um, he needs an extra coat. This was kind of like a frame I made for a, a mirror with like a little shelf. And it says adore you. Aww. I don't know about this though. It's very fragile. But it did survive and that's what we're talking about right now. So let me just move on. Okay, there's something in here that I I will be very upset, but right now it's just these ones were not that fragile. They're already baked. Some of these well the bathtub um was uncooked. That's why it was so fragile and like it's kind of a sure thing that it was gonna break, but you never know. These ones are cooked once but the um the glaze on them is not cooked that's why it's coming off all over my hands so those ones are fine oh but i'll show them to you because laura you're making a video you need to so i had made these kind of like they're kind of meant to be like texture pieces you know so they're kind of like funky shapes but um that's what those are oh and pia Here's the like text a finished texture object. So it has like the glaze. Um, so the texture is really nice and then it's kind of like kind of like a fidget, but also an art sculpture, but I kind of like that it's something that like wants you to touch it because usually with art it's like don't touch it. But this one it's like please touch me. And he kind of has like an accidental um tongue. Why am I so out of breath? Okay. This one I think is uncooked. Oh, but we have a survivor. Um, this is a stump. It's a tree stump. If you can tell. Um, I made a couple of these because I wanted to make like a series and fill up a whole room. Um, this is porcelain. Ooh, it's kind of fun. Um, it's also signed La Rina. It's not cooked, but it's so old that it's like together. But I want to install them outside, so I do need to cook them or else they will melt into the earth. Which honestly could be kind of a vibe, but that's not really what I'm going for. 
Um, and here in the city, I don't know if you have this where you live, but when they knock down trees in the city, they leave a stump, but they kind of like polish off the edges like this. And I was seeing that a lot. I made this in like 2019 or 2000, 2019, wait, 2019, I think in 2019, um, when obviously there was no Corona and I, I was walking around a lot and I saw a bunch of these all over the city. So I have a series of these. I have some more. I have, I think, about five. I don't have that much, but I would love to make like hundreds and fill up a whole space with these. Um, that would be cool. So that one's uncooked, but it's, it's like thick and sturdy, so it's fine. And there's the bathtub. I thought I had, oh, it's here. Do you want to cry? Yep. Oh, I'm going to cry. Okay, it's this um, little goat that I made. She's gone. Oh, oh, honestly, I could maybe fix her. So I had made this little goat head. It's so freaking bright. It's like impossible to see. Here. So one of her ears came off and her two antlers. She was originally with the antler and then with the ear. There's a way to repair uncooked ceramics with vinegar, with vinegar, vinegar, with vinegar that someone showed me before and it's pretty effective. They're still kind of fragile, but if you can just cook them, they're fine. Her mouth is fine, so I might honestly do that, but I was in such a rush to leave. I like put this one in his little packaging and I was like, oh, this is not a good idea. And so it's no surprise that um, she came back in pieces, but hopefully we can fix her. Um, and again, like when ceramics are cooked, they're a lot sturdier, but um, when they're not cooked, they're obviously really fragile. And then I think there's one more, her other horn. So, but these are pretty good packaging materials. I just saved these from any kind of packaging I receive. And like, I just have a bunch of old packaging so that I don't have to buy more. Okay, this next one, I really am gonna cry because I worked really hard on this. <laughs> okay, let's just, but you know what? Life will move on, we'll go on. God, I'm gonna cry, but maybe I can fix her. Okay, you don't, you can't see anything. Um, it's this piece, again, I made it so long ago, and I just didn't cry because I didn't have, cry now. Um, so her leg broke off and her hand. I'm calling them all her because that makes sense to me. Um, but, you know, I still have the pieces, so theoretically, I could still fix her. I just, that's really upsetting. Um, but also, like, so this I kind of closed her up, so she's kind of like a vase, but not really. It's just like a home body. But I do want to make more of this with this, like, symbol that I didn't invent um, I've seen a lot of artists use this symbol but and you know what this I made this actually just before confinement so I think I'm kind of psychic I think I mentioned that in another video but <sighs> it's funny I think I did mention that in a video from like June and yes yeah, she's still not cooked but now in the residency where we're living we have a kiln so hold me accountable I'm gonna book that kiln and cook these things fix them right up. I'm so upset about this, but do you know what? You're okay. Repairable, and also I'm gonna make more of her, so it's okay. I'm losing room here. Okay. I think that was like 
those two were the ones that I was the most worried about and it's a real shame that they came back broken but here's another one of those like texture pieces but it's much bigger these ones I made by like pinching all over so that when they're finished and like they'll be with the glaze so they'll have a nice like shiny smoothness it will be like a fun almost like you know those like ADD objects like you can like fidgets fidgets that you can like touch and play with or whatever that's kind of was my intention obviously this is more fragile since it's ceramic but I think it would still be cool and that's fine because that one was already cooked so it's like more durable um, I also used these just as a PS these were a screen print that I made on um, this bubble wrap. I don't think you can go. Oh, there you can go. It's a, um, a self-portrait of me in like a jungle. It's bubble wrap and I needed stuff to wrap. I've just been using it as like wrapping, which I kind of think is the best case scenario actually. All right, we got another stump. This one's a big guy. Again, with that like polished rim. I got a little room here. Another big, oh, I just saw a big one right at the bottom, but here's another stump. These are porcelain. Um, and I actually, I don't know if you can really tell, but I did use a little bit of gray clay to kind of give different colors because I don't think I'm gonna glaze them. Because I want it to have a similar effect of like bleached coral, which is like matte white. So porcelain unglazed obviously would be matte white, but you get it. So I have a bunch of these stumps. La Luna, is it backwards? Oh, this is a funny stump. I literally saw a stump like this, I was like, Usually stumps are cut down here, but this one was cut so high. It kind of looks like a, not a dildo, but um, it's just a stump. And I still did like the rings, but it was kind of cut like that. I wonder if I still have that picture. I was like, when I was doing this project, I was just, every time I would see a stump, I would take a picture of it and try and make it like exactly how it was. Last but not least, another stump. Ooh, this one's fun. It has like a little thing. So yeah, I think people thought I was making really ugly bowls because I would put them in the kiln like this, but they're meant to be like that. Anyways, so that's it. Honestly, thank you because I was, um, in case you didn't believe me, I guess that's why. I I was procrastinating um, unpacking that, so thank you for doing that with me. Not that, well, I'm pretending like you're here and um, anyways, this is honestly the most upsetting one to me. The goat, I kind of, oh, and he's taller. Well, I can, um, I can fix it. <laughs> I will fix it. I will fix it. I hope that was fun. Maybe that was just self-serving, but, um, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I don't know how to sign off. So, bye.